Wagwan, me people them. Big up everybody. It's your guy O'Day, the Jamaican sensation, Osborne, UFC flyweight. And speaking of, look, bigging up everybody, we're going to big up the Twisted Steel Bull. PBR just had their bull come over and uh, Dana White bought a bull and brought it to the UFC. It was such a great um, time getting to see a bull up in person because, you know, Black people, we don't we don't mess with wild animals. We just it's just not a thing. We just don't do it. So the fact that you know I guess there's no animals, there's no wild animals in Jamaica really. Like there's you know a uh, mongoose. That's about it. <laughs> that's really about it. But you know there ain't no wild animals. So anytime I get a chance to go up to a wild animal and you know without it like harming me, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So shout out to Dana White and PBR, repping PBR for bringing their bowl over to the UFC, you know, really, really uh, enjoyed that experience. So today, we got someone special in the studio today, right? The fans really wanted to see it, you know, they've been talking about, they wanted me to get Cody Durden in the studio. So just like that famous saying, and never, uh, never back down, you gotta give the people what they want. So joining me today in the studio, we have Cody Doo-doo Durden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going there. I see, I see where you're going with it now. I'll still beat your ass, though. Nah, you man. Know. Nah, man. That's just that's a dream. A dream that someday you'll wake up from oh. upside down. All, all, all <laughs> day, the, day. With the all rev. Day. With the rev looking over you like, oh, <laughs> man, hey, you got knocked out, but this was the most exciting fight you've ever been in with Oday Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're bringing a baseball bat, huh? <laughs> oh! That's the only thing that's going to happen. <laughs> man, that's a negative, man. So I see you got a, speaking of, so I see you got a fight already. You just fought. On the same Nashville card as me, which congratulations by the way, congratulations, Thank you. I good fight. It. Um, I see you have a fight coming up. Can you want to talk to me? Uh, who do you have, and when is that date? Uh, December sixteenth uh, versus Tagir U and Beckoff. Okay, I, I reached out to the UFC. I was like, "Yo, I want Oday," mm -hmm. and uh, they were what? like, "Ah, he's he's he too you know, tough. You're, huh? you're, you're a little you're a little bit past him right now." So they said, "We'll that give was you too tough. we'll give you Tagir U and Beckoff," and so <laughs> so that's what I did. You know, yeah, I took so, the fight versus him. <laughs> so how so what's that uh, what's that camp like preparing for Tagir? Because he's more of a, a wrestler, right? Yeah, I think so. Or uh, is he a is he a wrestler or is he a striker? I don't. Is um, no, no. He's more. He's like a. He's he's a little bit of both. He's yeah. a little bit of both. He's he a well-rounded fighter. Yeah, well-rounded fighter. Um, yeah. what's do you know what his record is right now? Uh, fourteen and two. I think he okay. lost to Tim Elliott. Uh, you that's know, right. Three, yeah, he's three and one in the UFC. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, uh, yes. See, you got you got off easy that giving you uh, Tagir because if they had <laughs> said. That you were gonna get me, man. I would have. Ooh. <laughs> well, well hey, you can always be the backup fighter. You ooh, know what I mean? I'm, hey, don't tell him. Don't tell me with a good time, because that's you know, why you gotta stay ready. That's how I got on the card. You fought the on, Nashville card. You know, two and a half week notice. Tiger pulled out. Yeah. I stepped up and uh, showed up and showed out. And you know, I hope I hope Tiger uh, shows up. You know, that's he's pulled be, out of yeah. you know six fights in three years. No, which I is know. Crazy. That's gonna so, be a, if you win that fight. Hopefully you win that fight. That sets you up for at least a top ten. Yeah, at least I would assume so. You I would, know, you know five what I mean? fight win streak. Yeah, um, I would. That would. He's I ranked would, number twelve. Yeah, so. that was that should set you up fifteen or top ten. Um, is there somebody that you're kind of eyeing in that division? Not, not in particular. You know, in that top, uh, not right now. You yeah. know, like. Uh, I always just focus on the guy I got. Yeah, you know, that's like true. I, I talk true. a little bit, but yeah, yeah, as soon no, as I get true. I get locked in. Yeah, you know, I'm locked in. I ain't worried about nobody else. That's all, all the rest of that's outside noise. Yeah, and the only thing that matters is showing up on fight night yeah. and and getting your hand raised. No, that's a hundred percent, man. And there's so many other things. Um, and I I should know this being a fighter too. You know, I hate when people ask me that shit too. So my bad. But there's so many other things that you know go into that people the, the X factor, right? You do everything that you possibly need to do. And you have to perform perfect on fight night. If one thing isn't in line with everything, like your training and your mindset, your fight, you know, your fight game, everything, your weight cut, then you're off. You have an off yeah, night. Exactly. So, and hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. you get you get the good training in and, uh, you know, reach out, get outside your comfort zone. Yeah. That, that's what I did. You know, training with Calvin Cater, Rob mm -hmm. Font. Uh, man, we've been grinding, dude. That's look, what's look at my face, bro. Like, I'm up. scratched up, <laughs> that's you know, up. sparring three times yeah. a week. Uh, that's even, how you gotta do it though man yeah that's how you gotta do it even even when we're done sparring you know after the two two sessions we, we've been running uh four miles at night so it's just like man it's a pace that uh mm -hmm. 
that I'm pushing right now. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're tired and you yeah. wake up and you're refreshed. You know, you just That's, make sure you stay on top of your recovery at the PI mm -hmm. and uh, just grind, man. Yeah. That's and where you, you do. where are you training out of right now? Uh, I train out of American Top Team Team Lima. Okay, uh, who's, in Georgia. Who's out of that gym so far? What's name some of the guys that? Because I know Carl Williams. You know, shout out to Carl Williams. If you guys don't uh, haven't heard of Carl or haven't looked up Carl, Carl is dope, man. I like I like that guy a lot. His personality, he's super genuine. Yeah, you know, for I sure. fuck with Carl Williams heavy. Yeah. Carl is such a dope guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. Uh, Who else to, you got? Went out of to there? high school with Carl. So oh, for real? Yeah. How did you? Uh, were you and Carl always friends since high school? We were kind of enemies, and really, then, you know, uh, we we didn't get along too 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 good. But uh -huh. then he reached out to me, I guess, when I was twenty eight years Why old. Why not? Why did you guys get along? Man, he was just a monster, and I was the small guy. You know, yeah. nobody messed with Carl. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh -huh. And so Carl always fuck with me, uh -huh. and so and so I I was the type to you know always stand up. I've always been like a little rowdy motherfucker. Yeah. So, uh, we just didn't, you know, see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. uh, we were on the same wrestling team. We won two state championships together. And then mm -hmm. uh, he reached out to me when he was 28 years old, yeah. which which was four years ago, yeah. and was like, yo, I want to start training. And then I invited him to the gym, and he fucking never left. And yeah. now he made it to the UFC in four years, that's dude, crazy. which is yeah. unheard of. And uh -huh. that just tells you what kind of athlete he is. Yo, you know what I mean? That's cr what high school did you wrestle at? Uh, Eastside High School, and, and they were you guys were a state uh, team state champion, or yeah, yeah. individual uh, two two uh, two time team state champion. So oh, we we had a good bond, you know yeah. what I mean. But y'all didn't get along in high school. How how does that work? How, I've never met anybody that was like, yeah, man, you know, me and my wrestling teammate in high school, we just didn't get along. It just that never <laughs> worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it was just like we were both immature as hell. Yeah, you know what I, I mean, it. we it were was kids, high school. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But we also got Treshawn Gore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm with Diego and Douglas Lima. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we got a good a good, good little, little squad. Team there. A good and little then, squad. That's what's up. Then I go yeah. to Coconut Creek, Florida, mm -hmm. and uh, train there uh, for my training camps. Okay, you know, secluded right. by myself. That's what's up. I'm know? just trying to. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find out every spot you train at. So I know where to show up to beat your ass. I already showed. I already showed up to to your gym at Extreme. Uh, That's not my gym. I train with Dewey Cooper. Oh well, same difference. I'm right down the road. You know where to find me. <laughs> we Come run the mountains, now. man. If you ever want to run some mountains, man. If you ever down for some mountain runs, you know uh, Mount Charleston. It's, it's it's good. It's like the elevation training, man. Get oh, you. Dad, you sure you want me to take you out in the woods, bro? You Shit. might not come back. Yeah, you're right. With your, with your people, I don't know. You're Shit. right. I've seen, I've seen what happens to black people in the oh, woods, man. man. I don't come know. On, I now. don't think so. I'm going to pass. I don't want you to take me out into the woods because I've seen what happens to my people when we go out into the woods with a white man. Man, hey, you don't, you don't know. I'm, but, more, I'm more of an outdoorsman than you are. Come on. Nah, you don't, you don't know nothing about the woods. See, see, but here's the difference. You ain't never killed an animal in your life. Here's the difference. Here's the difference, man. Y'all from the woods. See, I'm from Jamaica. We're from the jungle. There's a, there's a big difference between the woods and the jungle. Uh, There's yeah. a big difference, man. The, the woods got like I don't know. The woods got voodoo and 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 demons and some ghosts and 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 scary white people. The jungle got Mowgli and the animals and and you know what I'm saying berries and fruits and yeah. peaceful shit. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so what's what's next for you? What you doing? So I'm trying to. I've you been got both my, feet in or one foot in, one foot out? Which one? Nah, man. I'm trying to. Um, Stay on my managers about getting me a fight. But the problem is, you know how it is at 25. No one, everybody is always saying, oh, well, that's not the fight we're looking for right now. All the camps that you send a message to, they're like, that's not the fight we're looking for right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, it's frustrating at 25 because there's not a lot of guys in our, in our division. There's not a lot of bodies in our division. You know what I'm saying? So I think over time when they keep adding more 25ers, uh, it'll be easier to get fights. I'm really hoping I can get on either a November end of November card or a December. December 16th would be ideal. Yeah, that's the card I really want to get on. You know, I had a uh, um, really bad, um, you know how it is, really bad weight cutting issue. So I really I took some time off after my last fight. You know, just to get my organs back 
My last yeah. fight, the weight cut was terrible. It was it was a me problem. I did something stupid that I never normally do. You know what I'm saying with my diet, but that's all good. So um, yeah. it took some time off to just heal my organs up. My organs suffered after the last fight, that last cut. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to man. I'm, I really just want to get something. Did get one more fight. Um, three. This will be my third fight this year, which would be perfect for me. You've had what? This will be your fourth. Uh, I think this is my third. This third, year. third. Yeah, yeah. yeah, three fights is money. Three fights is money. And speaking of um, fights, who do you have seen? Who do you see winning the Pantoja and Brandon Royval? Man, and I, I'm going with Pantoja. Man. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I he wasn't even 100 percent in that fight. So, With Brandon uh, Moreno? Uh, no, not Brandon Moreno. When he beat Brandon uh, Royville the first oh, time, the first time he wasn't okay. even yeah. 100%, not mm-hmm. even close, bro. And, uh, you know, he went in there and, and submitted him <clears throat> in the first round. So it was like, I don't I don't think he can beat him uh, yeah. at 100%. You know? uh, and so, yes, I agree with that, but I also don't agree with that because Brandon Royval also has gotten tremendously better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, man, the evolution of fighting is so mental. It's such a mental sport because where a person is when they first start compared to when they, they – man, like me now would beat the shit out of me when I first started fighting. And, and it's not anything to do with my physical strength. It's just mentally. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, you, you just obtain a new level of mental strength that your first self didn't have. Yeah. So we will see. I, I, that's one of those fights where – I don't know because of the way Roy Val has been handling these dudes, and uh, I just don't. I gotta see it. I gotta see. It. I'm not, it's one of those where I don't know. It's one of those yeah, things yeah, yeah. where I just don't. That's gonna be a good fight regardless. I I don't know. Um, can Roy Val keep the same pace that Pantoja has? Because Pantoja has a disgustingly sound pace. His pace. He just goes and goes and goes and oh, goes yeah, and goes yeah. and goes for five rounds. And the thing about you know. Pantoja, he he, you know that w- what we've seen in the cage is yeah. he can take shots. Yes, you know? it's true. He can take shots and and, mm-hmm. and he'll take a shot to give you three or four yeah. uh, shots. And and the thing about him, you know, he he can grapple, he can wrestle, yeah. he can strike, mm-hmm. and obviously he's got the cardio. He's, he His does. pace is so high, you know. So uh, I just I think he's gonna over overwhelm Brandon Royville, and uh, it's gonna be in still. Okay, that's what's up. See, I'm gonna go the opposite route. I'm gonna take uh, Brandon Royval just because, for me, it is the the distance control that he has. It's the reach advantage that he has and his jujitsu. And he's kind of, you know, what I'm saying he's got that little Nate Diaz, little gangster shit about him with, that I like. That little edge, you know, what I'm saying I, I, you know, hopefully someday I will get to fight him and you know we can have a badass fight. That'd be dope as fuck. You know, I always want to fight the best, man. That's that's you know, you're the same way. I will say that, man. You're the same way. We we both always want to fight the best people, and uh, hopefully some of these damn twenty fivers will just be like, yo, let's let's fight. You know what I mean? And we can just fight instead of just yeah. cherry picking in the parking lot. Like, what what is this? Are we fighting or what? What are we doing here, man? What are I, we doing? Man, I mean, you just gotta, you know, from, from my experience, I show up. I've had over thirty fights. I, I've never missed weight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've pulled out of one fight in my career uh, when when I broke my ribs, so I really couldn't fight. And uh, you know, a lot of these guys are just are just talking and, and yep. just pulling out of fights and. You gotta show up, you know. Do do yep. what you're obligated to do. If you sign that contract, then it's your obligation to show up and and uh, try to show out. And well, because they have their own formula, you know. what I'm saying they talk. You see it with this stupid ass Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis shit, man. It's the, it's the formula. They talk so they can build the clout, right? Yeah. For example, Dylan Dennis doesn't care if he doesn't fight Logan Paul. But as long as he gets that clout from the fight and he pulls out, it's not going to hurt him because he already had the clout. He already got the clout. He already got the people to watch him. You know what I'm saying? He, so that's what a lot of these fighters do, man. It's, it's less about the fight and it's more about the, the clout that they try to get from the fans. And the fans give it to them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's the one thing that does annoy me. Um, it's, it's a circus, man. It is. It's that a, whole thing's a oh, circus. Oh, man. I, I hate it. Uh but it's entertainment at the end of the day. Yeah, you know? that's what true. what Dylan did, I, I, you know, he exposed he exposed this fiance, bro. Yeah, I mean, he's, he went completely <laughs> savage, bro. That's true. That, that you know entertainment, what I mean? man. 
I'm just like, see, but I get it too. But at the same time, man, like that's boundaries for me. I, I would, man, I would never talk about your girl. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I would never talk about your wife. I would never talk about your kids. I would never talk about your, your parents. You know, I'll make a joke. I'll say, you know, you redneck and you guys fuck your cousins and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. Oh, but I would shit. never, but I would never go down. I would, that's just like. That's dis in my book. That's disrespectful to talk about somebody. I don't care how much I don't like somebody. I would never cross that line of talking about somebody's wife and or their kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just like nah, man. The, the, that day there is no line. All right, <laughs> there is no fucking line. Nah, we are man. fighting. You're <laughs> trying to hurt me. You're nah, trying to take the, everything from, from me. Uh uh. I am going to destroy you. Oh, and if you ain't yeah. been training hard like yeah. me, I am going to destroy but you. For you sure. know what I mean? So 100%. you can say whatever you want, but you better fucking show up on fight night. But you then, know what I mean? But then you got to bring that same energy. Exactly. Come fight night. You can't come exactly. fight night and be like, well, you know what? Uh, I hurt my, my big toe. Yeah. That can't yeah. be the thing. You got to yeah, bring yeah, that yeah. same you gotta energy. You got to show up. You exactly. got to show up. And that is the problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People will be like, yeah. You know, fuck your wife, fuck your kids, but on fight night or way of day of weigh-ins, they're like, oh, weight cut, I gotta pull out. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. I've never pulled out of a fight ever. It's <sighs> it, no, nah, never. It's it's ridiculous. Like you said, yeah. it's a circus. I I I respect the actual fighters. I don't respect the. Hmm. How do I put this? The shit talkers. No, 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 no. It's not even the, that. The, 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 the ones that cross the boundary. Nope. It's not even. It's not even. Yes, the ones that cross the boundaries. But the the fighters that grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth, and they they got on the scene by their clout. I don't consider Dylan Dennis an actual fighter. Me neither. I'm bro. sorry. He, I he, don't. He, he's got mom and daddy's money. You know? That's what he, I'm saying. He lives in a high rise in, in New York uh, off, his, off his dad's money. You exactly. Know? And, and he never shows up in fights. Never. Uh, so we'll see if he shows up <laughs> tomorrow. Won't. I doubt it. And uh, I doubt it. But that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. I, I don't respect that kind of athlete. You know what I'm saying? I get it, too. If you're an athlete out there and you've been putting in the work and you're trying to, you know, you want to talk shit and go to that level... Back it up then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah, fine. Facts, but yeah. I don't I just thought I don't respect that whole, you know, I'm gonna use my clout to step into the fighting scene and take the shine away from the real boxers. There's real boxers out there that some putting in real work, but they don't get that shine, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they didn't grow up with mommy and daddy's money. You know what I mean? Right, so right. You know, that kind of shit pisses me off, you know. But at the end of the day, bro, you, you got to do what's best for you yeah. and, and do what makes you happy. Because for sure. Because you can't, you can't fucking please people, yeah. man. But then don't the, pull the, out the of fans, fights, though. Don't yeah, yeah, pull, yeah, that's yeah. The, thing. the fans, <laughs> you can't please them, you know, either way. So mm. uh, at, at the same time, it's like, man, you can do everything right and people mm -hmm. still going to hate on you, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like Khabib did everything right, people but still, people yeah. still, still hate on him. Man, shout out know? to that man. Honestly, I, he's my favorite fighter only because he was always so respectful and so deadly. Yeah. That's the worst combination to have, man. Yeah. Somebody that don't talk no shit, he just got like, brother, brother, what, what do you say, brother? What do you say? Yeah. And that's all he says, and he just go in there and he handles his business. Yeah, so you like <clears throat> Volkanovski stepping up, yeah, he fighting is. Islam. Uh, respect what, to that 10 day 11 day notice yep. like respect that, to that that's that's like guys that i look up to yeah. guys that'll step up and and, and fight and respect and not to only that. he's a champion but he's active yeah you know what i mean yeah no i do know what you mean so uh i'm looking forward to that fight as well even yeah. though islam if you go back and watch, watch the tape i think islam won but you know in the fourth round he yeah. he, he backpacked him and just yep. held him the whole round yeah and but so, there's controversy on that. You know, there uh, a lot of judges and referees are getting away from that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like the, uh, what's your friend's name? Vanessa. Demopolis. Yes, yes. yes. But she, she did won. damage. But she, she, that's what I was saying. Yes. I was like, man, she's on bottom, yep. but she's elbowing, yep. uh, you know, fighting uh, tooth and nail mm -hmm. to get something while. This that girl's girl trying to hold her. her. Yeah. 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 So I yep. can see both sides yep. of it. You That's know true. what I mean? But if, if And I if, think she won that. I'm biased a little bit, but I think she won because she was doing damage. She controlled her from bottom and did damage. And it's not like, yeah. you know what I mean? She wrapped her leg around her head and was elbowing the shit out of her. She was yeah, on yeah, bottom yeah, yeah, just yeah. trying to, you know, do wiggle, you know, shrimp. That's you what, know what I'm saying. saying? Okay. <laughs> like, so when we fight, I'm going to take your ass down and I'm going to put my fist through your fucking skull, bro. Man, you know of, what I mean? First of you all, won't, you won't even have to worry about none of that. First of all, first of all, you would have to take me down first. To put oh, your man. Fist come on, man. Through my skull. First of all, first of all, 
uh, you couldn't even touch my leg oh, with your short ass arms. What's your reach? <sighs> 68? I, I don't even know what my reach 63, is. 63, 65? Man, Damn, I have a, you ain't giving me no credit, I got a 72-ass reach. It don't matter. 72. I have the longest reach at flyweight. You hey, think you reach, don't... reach don't matter when you're on your back, O'Day. It does when you get punched <laughs> in the face. I said face. <laughs> It does, when, ass. it does when you get hit in the mouth. The reach definitely matters if you know how to use it. If you know how to use that mouth, that's see, that's another thing why I'm picking uh what's his name? Roar Bell, because he knows how to use his reach. If yeah, you know how to use your reach, you're clean with it. And I one thing I do know for certain is I know how to use my reach. There you go. One thing I know for certain is I know how to wrestle. Okay. You know, and you, on a good good day, man, what Eli, what did uh Khabib say? If King Kong could make 125, brother, bring this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, hey, he did. but you got to respect that mentality, though, man. But, hey, you know, um, with that being said, you know, it was a pleasure having you, man. Um, a lot of respect. You know, we talk a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, it's, it's business. Yeah. You know, me and Cody, we, we fighters. We're all fighting for the same thing, to provide for our girl, our wife. Our girl, our wife. <laughs> our girl, our mom. You know, our our, dad, our family members, kids, people that look up to us. Um, yeah, man, we want to build a, a legacy for us and a lifestyle. So Facts. Um, I'll still beat your ass all day. Man, this dude. All he, day, all day. Hey, hey. And, and then he woke up from that dream. Yeah. <laughs> he woke up from that dream. I'll pick her up and, and beat you with her. Man. <laughs> this dude <is> funny. <laughs> This dude, for how many, how much, how much heroin did you have today? Heroin. How oh, much, how much heroin, heroin? How much heroin are you on right now? That's an odd question. Cause you said you you would beat me, so you you gotta be on some heroin or something. Shit. You gotta be on something, cause in your right mind, <laughs> you never. <laughs> that right hand, right there, baby. What right? How many people have you knocked out? I think I've knocked out five. Okay. Six. I'm not in sure. In the UFC. I've I've I got one knockout. In Whoa, the who UFC. in the UFC? Who? Your buddy JP Boz. You did not. I smoked him in the first round. All right. Okay. You, I had you... <laughs> him doing the chicken dance. <laughs> Shit, he looked like a baby giraffe hey, out there hey, when I hit him. JP cut to 25. Okay. You could have put a feather on JP's chin and he would have been knocked out. All right. Oh, damn. He, he, ain't, just... gonna like, he ain't gonna like hearing no, that. No, he knows O'Day. that. Don't he, cut that, that O'Day. No, nah, I'm not gonna cut it. JP knows. It's, nah, it's, he's cool. It's a weight cut thing. That's a, He cut to 25. I'm saying he cut to 25. That shit. Man, he's big. Have you seen that motherfucker legs? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, we go. We'll go right hand for right for left hand, and we'll see. Oh, day! I done. broke his orbital and his nose in one punch, bro. Imagine what I do to you, man. I would put you to sleep in three <laughs> seconds. I would stomp a mud hole through you. <laughs> oh I would dog God. walk the shit out of you. There is no way in history. How? What are you? What are you gonna try to do to me? You're gonna try to wrestle me? I wrestled. I was a three-time state place winner in high school and a college national qualifier. How are you going? Man, I, man. <laughs> hey, Dana, 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 uh, set this up. Set it set up. Set this hey, up, hey, man. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Okay. I will. No, I'll, okay, I'll make you a deal. Right, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Bro, if, if uh, Tagir pulls out December yeah. 16th, okay. I'm going to make sure I tweet you first and, and, and tell you to step up. Let's All go. Right? All right. That's All right. a deal. Right. That's, That's a, a deal. bet. That's a, That's deal. a bet. Hey, I'm about to beat this man pretty, y'all. <laughs> look how oh ugly he God. is. Just look at how ugly he is. That's the, he got a face like the sloth from Ice Age. Right. Look at look at his look at his ice. Look at that Sid. Show oh, show the show the people your teeth, Cody. Smile one. Smile one. Oh no, God, it's a giraffe. Uh, that was a, hey. That little turtle hump you put on Twitter was fucking hilarious. Hey. I can't lie. You got me there. You got me there. Oh. That was funny. But yeah, man, I'm going to let you get Calvin back to the airport. He's got to take Calvin Cater to the airport. Um, thank you for coming on the show. You know, much respect. For real. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, guys, appreciate the love, the support that you've been showing myself and Cody Durden and all the, you know, other flyweights. We know uh, we're the smallest weight class with probably the least fans, but we still, we about to gain the most fans. We're going to take off. All right. So that's all for today. This is Wagwan with Ode Osborne. We got Cody Durden, and we are out.